all right guys welcome to today's tutorial video and today we are going to be discussing the basic maneuver or basic navigation for trust wallet now i'm going to be explaining what these icons here stand for the bell notification icon this top right notification icon and then some of these at the bottom here with this video or from this video you are going to be able to know the basic navigation method in your trust wallet app so not to waste any much time let's get right into the video the first icon i would like to explain right here is the top left bell icon now what this simply means is to turn on notifications now if you click on this bell icon you can see that if there are any notifications that you have subscribed to you'll be able to see them here for example the prices of ethereum bitcoin wikicat bnb whatever you want to track their prices once you just set a notification up here like click on this bell here once you do that you have subscribed to notifications for wikicat and now anytime you come to this bell icon if there's any notification for wikicat it will definitely display here so if wikicat goes up in price or down in price you have your notifications up here now the second icon we are going to be explaining is the top right hamburger icon and this icon if you click on it you use it when you want to add or remove a token from your display now for instance here we have bitcoin ethereum bnb wikicat and smart chain so let's say we want to add another smc token aside wikicat let's say we want to add um, dtg here as we already have wikicat here we'll just click on this hamburger icon up here then we click on the plus sign here once you click on it you change the ethereum network you change it to smart chain and then all you do is paste the contract address for dtg or wikicat and then when you paste it it automatically fills it up and then you click save now having done this if you go back to your home page you're going to see all the coins you have added like here you have wikicat here you have defy tiger all these are smc tokens and let's say you want to toggle them on and off if you click on this hamburger menu up here the top right you can see where you could toggle on and off wikicat on and off dtg so let's just say we want to toggle those off now when you click done you can see they don't appear here anymore you can see that guys so that is how you toggle on and off any token that you would like to display on your home page all right guys so now let's say you want to send tokens out of your wallet all right now we do not have any tokens in this wallet so i'll just be um, explaining it to you i believe that with practical you will be able to get it right so let's say you want to send out tokens if you hit on send if you have any tokens available they will all display here and you select which particular token you wish to send out but for example let's say you want to send out a wikicat you can see once you click on wikicat you have the send and receive option but since you want to just send you click on send now it will ask you to paste a wallet address so you are going to paste here the receiver's wallet address and when you have pasted that for example like this you will now put in the amount of wikicat you want to send let's say 1000 pieces of wikicat and when you are done with that you click on next when it loads up for you you would be able to click on send down here but for now it tells me insufficient wikicat balance because i have zero now if you wish to send a bep20 token which is um, any token on the binance smart chain you would have to have bnb smart chain in your wallet because any token built around the binance smart chain is a bep20 token and you need some of these for gas fee for any of those to be successful now if you also wish to receive any token you click on receive here and then you select which of the tokens do you want to receive bitcoin ethereum wikicar defy tiger which one do you want to receive if you click on anyone you will copy 
your receiving address here or ask the sender to scan this barcode now once the person has done that the person will be able to send you whatever tokens you want also we have the buy feature now this feature is for people who would like to buy directly let's say you want to buy some smart chain directly you want to buy 150 dollar worth of smart chain that's going to give you 0.532 bnb now these are all the service providers you have moonpay you have um, transac binance connect ramp and simplex so let's say you wish to use any of this if you wish to use any of this you select it for instance binance connect and you put in 150 you would like to buy you hit next now once you hit next it will try to load up the binance connect page for you and tell you how much you're willing to spend how much you're going to receive if you log in or sign up here you will be able to proceed and purchase some bnb tokens directly all right guys so to properly explain this swap feature i had to load up some smart chain tokens and i would like to swap this into usdt now if you don't have usdt here like i explained before you just click on this hamburger icon and search for your usdt now you can use any network of your choice ranging from bep20 to polygon to erc20 remember trust wallet supports a diverse range of um, blockchains so i have selected the bep20 and i want to swap my bnb directly into usdt so i hit on swap and um it's already here bnb to usdt so um how much what of bnb do i want to swap so since i might not really know the equivalent in bnb but i know what i want in usdt so i just come down to usdt and put one dollar so i would like to swap one dollar worth of bnb into usdt if it's correct by me i just hit on swap and then i wait for it to confirm and then i confirm it it asks you for your password and everything now this is a smart call to activate the swap so once this smart call is executed you would be able to swap successfully all right guys as you can see here the smart contract call has been executed successfully and yes now we have one dollar worth of usdt in our wallet and we have the remaining balance as bnb remember we paid some gas fees and we have swapped successfully so now you do not need to you know send your bnb to another exchange or you know go through all the stress you can just do it within this app so this is a very important feature that we should learn to use in our trust wallet all right so down below here we have four categories and this is a wallet feature just to bring you back to wallet in case you are on any other place you come back to your wallet and then we have the discover feature this is just to for you to discover um, a wide range of other cryptocurrencies according to their functions you can see staking if you click on all it shows you all the staking tokens you can see DeFi tokens you click on select all it shows you all of the DeFi tokens you can see very nice guys so um, if you go down to lending and borrowing you click on all it shows you all of them in that same category so this is to discover um, tokens and their functions so also we have here we have the browser now if you wish to swap your tokens for example you wish to visit pancake swap yes pancake swap dot finance and then you search now you are trying to get over to pancake swap dot finance you move this to smart chain and then you connect now once you're done with that it loads up pancake swap for you so if you are trying to swap into a token and you've connected your wallet just click here you connect your wallet yeah if your wallet is you just come down here and click on trade you will be able to see the amount of bnb you have up here as it's indicating then let's say i wish to swap into wikicat i just search for wikicat and there it is wkc and you select it and then you are good to go however you wish to swap this is how you use the browser feature so if you are done with that you just come back to your home menu so here we have the settings 
feature if you click on settings it brings you to a whole lot of options the first one will be your wallet indicating the wallet that you are logged on to then you have your security feature if you click on it it will ask you to you know toggle on app lock auto lock your lock method whichever one you choose to use and transaction sign in which means you need to authenticate each transaction before it goes out now you can also have your push notifications you can see that to notify you when any activity is done you have your preference how do you want to view your wallet in us dollars or in cryptocurrency or in any currency of your choice so you can do that app language also also your browser you can clear browser cache those are all in your preferences so you can also set price alerts like i said any price alert you've chosen to send anytime there is a price alert it shows on your notification bell now you can also use wallet connect this is to connect your wallet to any other third party website you can also see the help center twitter telegram facebook reddit and youtube for trust wallets so these are some of or if not all the features on your trust wallet and i've just been able to run through all of them as quickly as possible so if you watch this video you should be able to have an idea of what all these features are all about and how you could use them so thank you guys for viewing i hope with this video you've been able to learn the basic maneuvers or navigation for trust wallets